Okay, this is part two. <laughs> so, I decided that I would get two more chicks. <laughs> so, I'm trying to care for two chickens at two different stages of life, and it's not very easy. These can easily be outside and graze around in their little thing, and then I have two more that I purchased. So, now they're in a box. I put them outside today because it was pretty hot inside. I mean, I didn't have them inside my house. I had them on the screen in porch. But this is Blake. Blake and... I forgot the name of the other one. <laughs> I'm so bad. Um, anyway. The real, the one there with the funny looking head is Blake. Now these are all Easter egg layers. That means they lay like the blue and green eggs. And that's kind of what I wanted. Um... I'm supposed to call them Americanas, but they're not true, you know, true Americanas by any means. You have to go to a breeder to get those. And these just came from a hatchery. So, anyway, they've been enjoying their little box. And um, this one likes to fly already, little Blake. He likes to try to, I say he, but it's supposed to be a she. So anyway, I'll have four, hopefully, hens. And if one of them ends up being a rooster, then I'll have three hens which is what I want. And I can already use their bedding in my compost bin, which is what I'm doing. I had no idea how much chicken poop stinks. And that was one of the reasons I did not want to get a coop because I didn't want to clean it. So I'm hoping that the tractor business will be fine, even though I've heard some horror stories about the tractors too because I heard that the hens will totally destroy the grass where the tractor sits <laughs> for one day. <laughs> and you move it, you have no grass. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see how that works out. Hopefully, it won't be too bad. But, um, anyway, I'm um, learning a lot about chickens. Never thought I'd have chickens. And I had to learn a lot about the laws, too. Um, I live in a city, and there are no laws against it in my city. And I'll include a link where you can go to look for it in your city or your county. But since I'm in the city, my county doesn't allow, like, livestock. But since I'm in a city, the land use rules change. So, I can actually, you know, one of them got a bug or a cricket, and I watch them run around. <laughs> it's so funny. They need so much more space. I feel so sorry for my little hens. <laughs> one of them's got a bug. But anyway, um, it is a, it's, it's kind of, you know, daunting task to, it's kind of scary too. You don't want to offend your neighbors, so I'm not going to try to keep any kind of smell down and no roosters. Try to. I got quiet breeds, nothing loud. Hopefully, they won't be too loud. You never, never really know what you're going to get. And then when it rains, I take my little composter waiting pool that I empty my composter out stuff out on, and I run out here and <laughs> cover it up, and it's just a perfect cover if they're if it's raining. So I'll be so glad to get my tractor in, my little tractor. It's, cust it's being custom made, so it's going to take a little while, and it has to be shipped, I think, from Michigan, so or Minnesota, or somewhere up there. So we'll see how that works out. And what I'm planning on doing is putting a little fence from this here all the way to this side of my house. So they'll have all this room here to run around, and I'll have my tractor here. And hopefully I can keep my dog from eating them. That's probably been the hardest part about having these chickens. As my little dog, he has just turned into little Sylvester the cat. He wants to eat my little bird so bad. And it has been so stressful. And so, <laughs> he doesn't get to run around in the yard anymore. All he wants to do is eat these chickens. So, I'm hoping he'll get used to them. I let him see them every day. I let him see me holding them. And I'm hoping he'll get used to them. But, not yet. So, thought I'd share this with you guys. And let you know that... A lot more things are going on in the organic gardening. As a matter of fact, pick up the organic gardening magazine this month. They have a whole issue on backyard hens. And it's supposed to be a very, you know, in vogue type of thing to do now or something in organic gardening. But that's not why I did it. I've been wanting to have chickens for a while and fresh eggs. So, anyway, thanks for watching my videos. And hope everybody out there is doing fine. And don't forget to get your colonoscopy. Thanks for watching.